Kid over I'm Am is the Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding program here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, the way you get the opening call, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to hit newsletters. You're going to see the opening call right on your left-hand side. You just hit that subscribe button. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months, for $6.95, which is a savings of $199, or 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593, or 33%. Now, folks, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. When you get Basil's newsletter, he has approximately 10 to 12 great archives out there. You can... That all comes with it. Great education. You can learn how to ride that wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, it's not what's going on, it's what's going up. It's yeah. amazing. This is a terrific it, move, yeah. It, it is. It's, 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 pretty, it's pretty wild. I mean, this has been a great trade in the year. I mean, that's the bottom line. So, Well, you know, you know look at this chart here on the, in the middle. This is the weekly chart of the Dow. I've got a, a technique that I call the Chapman Wave Inside Track Propellant Zone, and at the top, it's the repellent zone. And look how the Dow, although it's an expanding wedge, look how the Dow has come down to this level each time and then had a really good rally. So the last one went right to the uh, upper limit. That was the high of, I think it was, uh, 34,281. It's actually where we went short the Dow via the DOG. And look at this. It comes all the way down from that inside track repellent zone almost to the to the buy zone in the weekly so it comes down to 28660 <clears throat> on october the 13th we were actually long going into that and then 8 30 the news came out and it suddenly dipped down and we had it quickly uh, scurry and the, the, you know, the very soon after that I mean, it was the next day we went back to long again but that was a very quick reversal but look how interesting this is if you look at the the low that was made late september at 28,715 and then the lower low at 28,660 you'll see the technicals on the left side this is a daily chart yes we're improving now i, I like to use the inverse as well it's like a mirror image not oh. always exact but pretty close look here's the dog okay uh, late september it goes to 38 38.45 uh, 38 pulls back makes a cup formation and what does it do it fails at that cup formation and the the cup becomes an arch formation at 38.66 and that goes to e but look the technicals on the left side were much stronger than on the right side where the macd deflected low and very soon after that it turned negative so this is the inverse the dog is one to one short and the dia is one to one long so i'll go back to the down i'll show you something that's actually quite interesting here is that there's a technique that i use called the chapman wave inside wedge this green line, I usually make it dashed. I made it uh, solid for now, so it's easy to see. We went right to that level today. If this particular pattern, and I have a rule of 135, meaning on the upside, if anything you're following retraces uh, just for one bar and then makes a new recovery high or low, that's what you want. That's fantastic momentum to the upside. Three is still very good. When it gets to six, you have to almost restart the buy or the sell signal. So in this case, we rested for a day. Um, that was after peak A. We got to peak B almost one day. It was actually two days that we rested because we just failed to make leg C. And in the last three days, we've screamed up in this leg C in the Chapman wave. You get a buy signal that gets upgraded, which says you should go to at least four higher peaks, then you got to reassess. So we're in a buy mode. All the technicals are very good. We added to our original long position on uh, the dip. What is it? On Friday morning on that dip, we bought a very aggressive uh, three times long, uh, the Dow. Uh, so we've had about a 17% gain in just a few days on that position. So, so far, everything is good. But I must say, look at the weekly chart. There's a, oops, there's a lot of work to be done to be able to go on even more to go up to that resistance level, which is in the 32,000. Uh, 700, 800 area. So, so far, it's a really good turnaround, and you've seen that with some of the uh, other I indexes. But what I was looking at, um, I also, I mentioned to you last week that we had gone along Bank of America in the 31 area. We do this every year for subscribers in the last seven years. 
and we try to get something that is close to what it looks like a very good low, and then we ride it all the way up. We start taking money off until it turns around, and we're out, and then we try to do it again. So this year we've got it. Uh, this is the second attempt. This one so far is very good. We've gone 31 to uh, 35.51. So that's very nice, and the 200 period moving average resistance is at 36.02. But I wanted to show you something here. The VIX index, and I showed, showed you this last week, that Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone that we did not close above that green line, the upper green line of this little mini down channel. And isn't that interesting with all the news that went on, we only went to 34.88, we didn't even take out the June high of 35.05, and here we are sharply down. And you see the date, that's the weekly chart. You see the daily chart, you see it went from a cup to an arch. Doesn't yes. this look familiar? This is the VIX index. Yeah. Uh, I've been talking about this all week. Look at this. Any any resemblance? There's it, your dollar. Okay. Yeah. So the dollar, if that starts to take out 110 support, it's going to mimic the same pattern. It will start to go down a little lower. So, so far, what we're looking at is within the context of all the different indexes and the sectors that I was looking at to see if we could have a really good rally, we've got the TBT, which was on the upside bonds, having an island reversal here at a peak G. Nice pullback. We've got the... Um, I even included the UNG the other day saying, I want to see that turn as well, because that would say that maybe oil steadies and doesn't go much higher. And now finally natural gas can start to have a rally. And so far, it's a nice turn to the upside. So I'm looking at this very positively. And we've started now, now we've started to add, we built a big cash position, we started to add, and we're also adding single digit uh, stocks, which I think have very nice percentage gains. And if they're in the, same, the sector that's moving well, it's nice to pick up something that maybe doesn't have the capitalization, but it does have the percentage uh, potential gain. So uh, tomorrow I'll show a little bit more of some of these techniques in my show in the Tiger Technicians Hour at 10. Nice. You know what's so intriguing, Basil, is that we haven't had the Dow leading, I can't even remember. I mean, they're talking about 15, 20 years. Like, well, and, the, the, no, the Dow has had has held very well at times. It hasn't necessarily always led, but it has held well. But my contention has been for some time now that the make it's not the Dow Industrials anymore, it's the Dow 30. That, no, I, I hear that every day in the show, which is cool. Yeah, exactly. And I think that that's important because that shows you the mix here. It's only leading because it has insurance, it has the financials. Yeah, it, it's, it's a good it's mix. Home I get it. Yeah, it's just okay. a great mix. Yeah. So I like it very much, and that's why we've been trading it and so far. So good. Yeah, you never can no doubt. Tell. Yeah. No doubt. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. You're going to not only get a good newsletter, you're going to get a great education. Come over to our website at TFNN. You hit newsletters. You're going to see it on the left hand side of the opening call. You hit that and you are off to the races. You have a great night, safe night. Hey, so what's the weather like up there right now? Actually, it's starting to get cool, although I'm going to go play tennis in a half an hour. It's getting very cool. Nice, Outdoor nice. tennis is going to be ending very soon. It's a beautiful day. Thank okay, you, man. Tom. Well, you have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to the show tomorrow, Basil. You too. Thank you. Stay right Thank there, you. folks. We'll come right back.